What's up, guys? Well, in the comments of the last video, somebody mentioned, or I guess I should say, they challenged me to make a tomahawk out of a ball peen hammer. I thought that was a pretty cool idea. I found myself a nice old ball peen hammer. Had some shit welded on the bottom, so I had to get rid of that. But overall, it's pretty cool. We can go ahead and get started. what it looks like I gotta say I had a lot of fun with this one that was a really good challenge I enjoyed it now I'm ready to make it look beautiful let's have some fun with the angle grinder about ready for heat treat now. Got all the major scratches and everything out. Got it shaped the way I want it. And the more I kept looking at this guy, because it has a very, very small hole here. It is a volcano hammer. And I didn't have a way to widen this hole while I was forging it, so I decided that it pretty much has to have some type of reinforced handle. It can't be wood because it wouldn't last very long, especially throwing it. And I have the project that I've been working on for a while. Just never really knew what I was going to use it for until today. Which was a few of these little metal pieces that I drilled and tapped. And just had them laying around. So I decided to go ahead and maybe modify them a little bit to make them fit. Try to make a cool handle out of it. And after finding a few pieces and then I made this guy. 
which is pretty cool. It steps in it. Already had these holes in here. I just threaded a piece of metal right into the end of it there. To try to attempt to make a handle with this. This right here is just mild steel. These two pieces here are stainless. And so this is pretty much what I came up with to make them interlock. Make sure it's strong enough. And it's real strong. It's a solid fit. This guy I decided I'm going to go ahead and use as my pommel. That's probably what the handle is going to look like so far anyway. I'm going to go ahead and shape it to fit right up here on top. And I decided to mount it because I'm going to shape it down. I don't want to weld it. I don't want to... I mean, I don't really want to do anything that's permanent, so I decided that to make a threaded piece. So I'm going to shape this guy here to slide all the way through the handle. And once it's all the way through and pretty close to flush, you can take this piece, which I also made just now, and screw it right onto the other side. And that should be a good mechanical bond and will hold the head right onto the top of it. Not sure what I'm going to do with this piece. I'm probably going to shape it into maybe like a little spike, or I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but we'll figure it out as we go. The next step, let's go ahead and shape this piece so we can get this hatchet put together anyway, and then we'll get ready for heat treat after that.
All right, guys. Well, the head is all polished up. It's not perfect, just a few little things here and there, but I sure like it. The handle, I went ahead and did a few things. First off, I wrapped it with paracord. Not the greatest wrap job, but I think it'll do for now. And then I shaped this top piece, did a little bit of a texture on here. So let's go ahead and put it on. And I drilled this hole here to tighten it when it's all together. Alright guys, I'm about to beat on off camera real quick. Alright, here it is. And you just whatever you got laying around. Give it a good crank tight. Break the tip of the file while you're at it. And she's done. Go ahead and do a little bit of testing here with it real quick.